Hi, this is Al Souza. I was part of the Stan Winston crew for Jurassic Park. I was the lead mechanical designer for the Sick Triceratops. Hi, this is Shannon Shea. I was fortunate enough to be part of Stan Winston's Triceratops crew for the first Jurassic Park movie. Here I am uh, many years ago uh, demonstrating the breathing mechanism on the uh, small scale model. We built a small scale version of the character before the full scale so I could show Stan how everything was going to work and basically built a bigger scale version of everything of all the mechanisms and controllers when we went to the full scale version. And that breathing mechanism was basically just a, a post underneath that just pushed uh, a lever, pushed it up and down and moved the, the skin up and down. There I am demonstrating the tail mechanism which was uh, had movement from side to side and also uh, up and down as well. There were no hydraulics in this character. It was all just uh, mechanical, you know, a lot of cables and pulleys and uh, the tail was like a direct linkage mechanism. Joey Orozco is here painting uh, the Triceratops. He started the paint job in Los Angeles and you can see how detailed and beautiful a, a job he did, but unfortunately things were so, so tight that we had to uh, ship it to Hawaii and uh, Joey actually finished the paint on set. Here he is working on this very intricate paint job. So this is when uh, Stephen came by the shop and this is us demonstrating again a, a concept of how we were going to puppeteer it and uh, it got loaded into, as you can see it wasn't finished, it was, all the legs were apart because uh, we could only ship a certain container to Hawaii so the legs had to be put on in Hawaii. We had to be ready with the, the character because it was going to take like a month to ship it there on the container they, on the boat so we had to have it ready a month before they wanted to shoot it to give it time and then uh, this is a big hole they dug in the ground with a platform over the top so that all the puppeteers could be underneath there were uh, one or two inside the character and then uh, the only one that was outside was the guy doing the um, eyes with the remote control with the radio everyone else all the cables and all the uh, controllers were down underneath that platform and uh, I think there was the one guy was inside that was working the tail and then uh, everyone else was underground uh, working the breathing mechanism working the mouth and the tongue working the uh, the forearms and the legs those were all cable controlled I remember when uh, they told me I was going to Hawaii because I was I had just started working for Stan at the time and uh, out of all the characters we made this was the only one that shot on location everything else was shot back in LA and I was pretty much the brand new guy at Stan's and they said oh you're the character you built is filming in Hawaii so you get to go to Hawaii and um, so that was that was kind of funny now here here we are uh, starting rehearsal um, this was, uh, I believe, our first day there in Hawaii, and uh, we set up a camera and had a monitor underneath in our little pit down there, and, and then uh, Stan was directing us, and uh, we were going through the various movements uh, first one at a time so he could look at each one one at a time, and then we started trying to combine them all together, and uh, Stan was kind of conducting us like an orchestra where... Um, he wanted all of those movements to blend together into a really smooth, uh, he was really, really, really uh, about smooth movements in your performance. He didn't want any of what he called herky-jerky movements. While most of the guys were in the pit um, moving the dinosaur around, I was outside on the day of shooting but uh, the radio controls were, were handed off to me because I was responsible for doing all of the cosmetics on the dinosaur for the shoot. So I had to do all the, uh, these, you know, pus and the spit and the roomy eyes and all that stuff. So, in fact, when Laura Dern, you know, pops the uh, micro vesicle on the tongue, that was a little gag that I uh, figured out. And uh, I would have to actually run in with a syringe and refill the, um, the cavity. 